Have you ever wondered what features to look for in a no-code app builder? No-code app builders come with a variety of features and not all builders offer the same ones. It's important to know which features your business needs to create your mobile app. In this video from our series on how to create an app without coding, we'll take a look at some of the top features to look for when comparing no-code app builders. I'm Alex from Jotform. Let's get right into it. As no-code app building rises, so have the number of no-code development platforms. With so many to choose from, it can be difficult to decide where to start. The best route is to consider the key features you need in your business app, and then look for the no-code app builder that can specifically meet those needs. These features can be technical aspects, functionality, ease of use, the technologies it supports, and the level of customer service it offers. With that, let's take a look at some of the top features to look for in a no-code app builder. First, there's a drag and drop functionality. Whichever platform you choose, it should allow you to visually drag and drop items to form the design of your app. This is how you will build your app's layout and functionality. Drag and drop is exactly as it sounds, as all you have to do is select an element, drag it across the screen, and place it. The feature is perfect for those without coding experience as it is intuitive and flexible. Something to consider when looking at app builders is their user experience. Try to find out if you'll need any training to use the drag and drop feature and how you'll be able to move items if drag and drop isn't available for a certain element. Next, there's templates. Templates are one of the core elements of no-code app builders as they save time, provide a range of functions, and enable users without coding skills to create an app their audience will enjoy. Before choosing an app builder, try to find out if it offers a free canvas or is restricted to a positioning-based tool. With the canvas, you'll have unlimited design flexibility, much like drawing in a sketchbook. But with a positioning-based tool, you're forced to work within a grid system, limiting the degree to which you can customize your design. Then there's push notifications. Being able to connect with your users through notifications on their smartphone is vital, considering how much time most people spend on their devices. Push notifications allow you to communicate important updates or promotions directly to the user from your app. Confirm whether or not the no-code app builder can send push notifications and look into any limitations it might have, like the number of notifications you can send per month. If you think you will need to filter notifications to specific users, look into whether or not your builder will support this. And determine if the builder can offer tracking to show which notifications your users actually read. Next up, we have community support. Community support, such as forums, plugins, marketplaces, and learning academies is one of the most essential elements in a no-code app builder. This is even more important if you're building this app on your own. There are many app builders with broad knowledge bases, documentation, and forums, so do your research and review how active the community actually is. Then decide if, in the event you have a question, you will get a response quickly and easily. Some other features to consider are analytics and reporting services. Analytics and reporting can tell you when and how your users engage with your app. They can also help you to better understand your customers, improve the app, and achieve higher engagement and conversion. Through analytics, your business can implement more effective updates that actually improve the user experience. For instance, if the analytics show that your users rarely read push notifications, but often read updates within the app, you may need to focus on providing key information inside of the app as opposed to sending it all out through notifications. Next, there's scheduling and appointments. For a lot of small and mid-sized businesses, apps are an effective way to set up appointments and reservations, saving administrative staff time spent manually scheduling customers. There are several appointment scheduling apps for small businesses that highlight this feature. And you can build apps that offer this functionality in addition to other tasks. Determine if the scheduling feature is customizable to fit your needs. Consider how many time slots you'll want to provide and how far in advance you'll allow bookings. This will ensure that you choose an app best suited to your business's needs. 
Last but not least, there's e-commerce. The ability to make a purchase in an app makes it easier for end users to buy any products you might offer. With in-app purchases, your customers won't have to go to your website or into your store. This way, your app functions as an additional sales channel by facilitating e-commerce, accepting multiple payment methods, and managing tax and shipping costs. Search for e-commerce store templates to make it easy to set up your app. Even better, some builders enable you to upload structured data like a spreadsheet to create your shop, preventing the need to individually input prices and item descriptions. Now that we've learned more about the features to look out for in a mobile app builder, let's take a look at how templates can ease the app development process. Stay tuned for the next video in our series to learn more. With all of the great information we've covered today, let's take a moment to briefly review. When looking for the right no-code app builder for your business, it's important to consider the types of features that you'll need to create the best mobile app for your audience. Some common features you should keep an eye out for are drag and drop functionality, templates, push notifications, community support, analytics and reporting, scheduling and appointments, and e-commerce. Thanks for joining us today. Again, I'm Alex from Jotform, and we hope to see you back here soon.